Continuing through the tree, this security node is for security at the server level. And security is a very complex subject inside of SQL Server. To give you a one paragraph introduction to security, users are first authenticated into the server using either their SQL Server ID or a Windows ID. They are assigned server roles and give certain server level permissions using this node. They are then given access to certain databases, and they then have permission within the database using different roles that are assigned permissions to different securables, as well as permissions they are assigned individually. Under server objects, the most interesting one is linked servers. We'll talk about linked servers when we talk about distributed queries. If you have a history with SQL Server 2000, linked servers used to be under security in Enterprise Manager. Now it's under server objects. Replication is controlled under the Replication node. Database administrators, or DBAs, spend much of their time under the Management node, creating maintenance plans, checking the Activity Monitor, and checking the logs. And of course, SQL Server Agent, which is used to set up automated jobs. This is another place where the DBA sort of lives and breathes as far as doing his job. So that's Object Explorer. The only other thing I like to say about it is that you can connect to multiple database engines. For example, now I'll connect over to the, to the SQL Express instance we have installed. And now in Object Explorer, we have multiple servers running. Okay, let me take a second and clean up the desktop here.